Uh, so I'm going to try to clean up the whole system for the rear. Take a look at that. I hear the you know I have rebuilt this a year ago, the pump. So I'm going to try to blow air for to to clean you know the whole everything is in there because I'm going to put all new. Alright, let's give it a try. You see that? Okay. Yeah, it's coming out. Okay, that's better. Okay, uh, the front one I don't have to do nothing because it's like not much left in there. I have to remove everything. I have to remove the, uh, the master cylinder. Everything. Hello there. Look at that. He's going crazy with it. He loves the air. What's your hand? Uh, we have to clean this with uh, actually brake fluid. They don't want you to clean them with gasoline. And I have a little bit here 5.1. Let me remove that uh, rubber o ring. Um, let me wash the, uh, the front. Uh, let me clean the whole thing. As much as I can. Now, this thing here has uh, uh, three washers. I'm going to wait for the kit to arrive, then I have ore to see if I have to remove that or not. But definitely you have to put molly grease here on this one. It has a little piston bolt, I call it. Okay. All right. Let's get uh Now the rear, it's more important than the front on a Harley like that. Because on a heavy bike like that, that is, uh, you know, almost 400 kilograms, 750 pounds. <coughs> With this older technology, you use the rear brake a lot. And you slow down with your gears and you have the front brake to help everything, okay? And, uh, you know, you don't have all this kind of ABS stuff and systems that I have on the, on the BMW bike, the on-off bike I have. So, but, Okay, let me use something even more cleaner for inside the chamber. And uh, okay, that's better. 
All right, I'm going to blow the air now. Make sure everything is uh, clean. Crown, don't bite my hand. I'm telling you. Okay, this one is ready. Let's do the piston. He's disappointed that I stop blowing air. <laughs> Go take a nap. Come on. Go play with Harley. Ah, this is what you want to show me. Okay, this is drop down. All right. Okay. This I'm gonna get, leave it oily. And I'm going to put some fresh oil on it, the same grade, 5.1, that goes into that before the installation, okay? All right, let me get something else. All right, I'll just put this... Uh, clean rack here so I can see what's going on. So I can have the clean parts in a clean place. Yeah, maybe here a little bit uh, four zero. What do you think? Yes, I think yes. It will make the piston even smoother. If you don't know what I'm talking about, 4-0, go back to my videos. Don't use nothing else than 4-0 to clean up parts like that or chrome. You can get it from Home Depot. I've been using it for many years. Probably close to 30, yeah, I know. So this big one is the rear. Thank God the threads, they're good on the, um, on the one you take the air out, the bolt you take the air out. I ordered a new one. Because uh, was like uh, the, you know a couple of threads on it was not good anymore, so I ordered a new one. Uh, thank God I found it in stock. Ah, uh, there you go. There it is. Hello, baby. Say hi to the world. There. Yeah. Say hi. Yes, okay. All right. They play with crown all day long. Brakes are going to be like brand new. I think the whole bike is going to be like brand new because I'm doing a lot. It's already over 22 hours on YouTube. 20 hours, 21 hours, something like that. It will be more work. Okay. Okay, 
I can feel the, the air comes out from here when I blow into these holes. So I know there's nothing in there. Okay, so cut different kind of rays from Rosie because she's not losing uh, hair okay and the Rosie the white cut we have she's losing a lot of hair all the time have no idea why different kind of a rays on this cut probably they're both really good very smart Cards are amazing. When Crayon first came into the house, he saw the cats and he got crazy. He was three and a half months old when we got him. And he he almost got a uh, <laughs> heart attack. <laughs> he got pissed off so bad. He was still very young. It took a long time for him to get used to it with the cats. Now they eat together and they play together. Okay. Look at that. My old pads, I have all the new ones. This is this the well, this is the front. These are garbage. You see, this got bent somehow through the years. I have no idea. I have all another one, but it would take a week or something. Uh to get to get the replacement, but it's okay, I wait. The bike still has a lot of work. But we get in there. We get in there. So brake fluid is excellent to clean parts like that. And the reason I'm using the leftover I have on this board, I have a brand new one on 5.1 is because I don't want to mix the oils on the calipers. The calipers, they want 5.1 for a very good reason. So I just stick with that. I'm not going to do the same mistake I have done years ago. Give it another blow. Just in case. I'll be doing this now.
this is the one I'm gonna replace. Okay. You see, you can't really see it, but there's a couple of threads here, no good. So I have ordered a new one. Helpfully, it's gonna come by tomorrow. Okay. Alright guys, this is the day after, let me see where I will put my coffee, ah. let's check it out what's happening, let's check it out, oh there is the roses, Look how big they are. That's our pine trees. Beautiful. We'll have to clean up more. But we're getting there. And uh, got some parts. <coughs> so we got here. Now all the parts are in stock, so I got them uh, today. I got some. I don't see anything else in here. Motorcycle storehouse. Part number. We are in Europe. Uh, it was like, uh, what? Well, everything you see here is like. Uh, uh, 50, like 50 something bucks for the delivery and everything. <coughs> That's Euro dollars. Clean this a little bit. Let me get rid of it. Uh, I don't have to wash anything here. So, oh, good. Got the bolt. Yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, part number is the same, right? No, nine. No, it's not the same. Oh yeah, it's a different size. All right, front and rear caliper. Uh, let's see. I didn't have to order the pistons. They also had another kit with the pistons. And everything, so that's the 491. All right, okay, not here. Let me get to the other side, like that. Let me use a blade. Okay, so this looks like uh, what we have here. This is the small one. Yeah, this is the small and this is the big one. Um, this looks like the, 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 the rear caliper. Okay. This one too. The blade. Good. Yep. Um, even if you mix them, you can re you can recognize the old and the new. The old one. Okay, it's very soft. Uh, so let's put them here. Okay, it looks like there is no ring inside, but what I'm interested for, it's, uh, okay, this is the rear, 
this is what I have problem with. And this is the new one. Okay. So... Yeah, much better than uh, the old one. Okay. But I'm missing something. Anyway, okay, so these are uh, drug specialties. Kevlar organic brake pads. Anyway, this is what we have. Let's find out. Let me put this back. Okay. Yep. Okay. This has little holes here, but uh, it's exactly the same. Except the thickness. Look at the new one. Oh, we got some. Good. We have a new, uh, new inserts or something to hold the uh, the brake pad. Okay. All right. That's it. All right, let's get ready. Okay, so... <sighs> let's see. Okay, I'm gonna put... Uh, I'm gonna lubricate everything with the regular oil. But it's gonna be on the caliper. So, I'm just going to use my fingers for now. Okay, let me see how I'm going to do that. Let me put a little bit oil here. Okay. Again, for uh, as far as I know, for all Evo, it's the 5.1. Don't use the 4. Ask your mechanic if you're not sure or check your manual right here. All right, so all right, let's see here. Let me do the front one. Okay, I'm going to start with the front one. So it says here you put this one first, then this one first, then this one second, then the piston, okay, and uh, then the ring. We're going to give it a try. Right here. Apply the silicone uh, to the exterior surface of shield 10. That's it, I'm going to just put a uh, uh, brake fluid and uh, blah 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 and grease, insert the uh, the flagget and pin boot 5 into the internal groove. Okay, that's... Uh, okay, that's the 10 right here, then we have the 12, he's talking about the 5, this one, I'm gonna, I'm not going to disassemble uh, I'm not going to disassemble this. I don't have to. Okay. So we're going to... 
uh, then put the dust boot 12 that's the one here into the open side downward over the top of the piston all right let's start one by one first let's put this okay let's see all right Okay, well that was easy. Alright, now you see that groove here. Okay, let me get something like this right here. Right here is where the ring has to go. Okay, we we'll have to press the piston all the way in. How the hell are we going to do that? It's not going in here. Um, let me try another way. Let me try the way I took it out. Do I have the right piston? Yes, yeah, this is the small one. Let me see if I can do that. Maybe. Try it like that, maybe. All right. Not good. Seats on the groove on the top of the piston. All right, let's give it another try. I think this is what they're talking about. All right, that makes sense. Okay, the piston lubricated. Okay, I'm pushing inside. All right. Let's make sure that thing goes in. Use uh, no ring. Um, maybe a pencil. Okay. Uh, it has to go a little bit here. I'm going to be very careful. Not scratch anything. Just pushing a little bit the rubber. It's not in yet. Okay. Oh. oh boy. Okay, and uh, now we have to put up this. Let me put something here. Okay. So I can help it a little bit.
Okay. Let's give it another try. Push the piston dashboard with the open side downward over the top. Push downward the wood until the inner lip sits on the groove at the top of the piston. Silicone grease and push the piston with dust boot into the piston bore. If necessary, push, press the piston in with a sick lamp. Position the cap of the retaining wire at the top of the caliper and compress the retaining wire into the piston bore. Push the retaining wire firm, firmly against the piston dust boot. So maybe we do want to go all the way in. Okay. It's right here. Okay, let's go in again. All right. Okay, I think it's in. Now, let me check before we do anything. This is in. You see, this is like not even one millimeter distance from one side or the other. And uh, looks like the only way to do that is bring the two edges right here. Yes, I have to use uh, uh, this one to magno to use like I use like magnify my glasses so I can see without the magnify lens. But you know, a little bit more oil here, and uh, I'm going to give it a test. You gotta help me. Okay, I need to put something here that is uh, soft. I'm going to put a piece of wood. First, I'm going to clean it. Then I'm going to put a piece of cloth over it so not any particles of the wood going into the caliper and uh, let me see here what's going to happen I can tell you. Let me 
see what happened. Yes, it works. Okay. I broke the wood. So you can see how much pressure is in here. Okay, so uh, basically the rubber is on the lip. Exactly how the book says right here. And uh, let's put it back right there. So that means that, uh, you know, the safety o-ring or wire or whatever you want to call it, it's all the way in. Okay. All right, let's try the other one. Oh. I think that's the most difficult part of rebuilding your uh, your caliper. And if you watch my video, it won't be that easy, difficult anymore. Because, uh, you know, I can find decent videos on YouTube with this particular caliper, okay, and this piston. I found a guy that is uh, it's a big guy somewhere. He's doing it right and everything, okay. It's on our uh, workshop uh, list, you can see him. But it's the quality of this video, uh, probably like seven, eight years ago, is so bad, you can't see his hands, you can see exactly what he's doing. Helpfully with this video, you know, you can rebuild your calipers. <coughs> Much easier. All right, so again, let's put a little bit uh, 501 here. Yes, yeah. really good. Don't put any grease or stuff in here. If you don't have what the book says, don't put nothing else. The safest thing is brake oil. What are you exactly the same quant or quality you're going to be putting onto your bike? And of course, if you see uh, before, you check all the uh, all these little holes here, blow some air inside, make sure they're nice and clean. Nothing is uh, plugging them. Okay, so we got this. Let's get a new one. Okay, don't mix them. I put the old ones right here. But even if you mix them, these are hard. You can uh, easily identify them. Okay. So this goes on the bottom groove right here. I mean, it's just common sense. It's uh, no, no other place to go, really. This one here. If you put it on the top, like I did now, you you easily understand it. Let me try again. Let me try another way. I'm going to put it like this first. And I'm just going to go around. Yes. Crown is here. Okay. Looking good. Crown. It's getting late in the day, it's time to go around and guard the property. He's going around and barking over here, barking over there, barking over there, barking over there, when it's getting dark. And then he goes to sleep and relax, and when he listens to something, he's like all alert. German surfers, they never sleep. They look like sleeping. Okay, let's do the piston. Of course, I have cleaned this real good. And I have used a little bit... Uh, four zero. If you don't know what is four zero, look at my videos. Okay, so this... Uh, Lubricate is really good. All right, leave it here for now. Let's get that.
I'm gonna try test one more time. Okay, so it's nice and clean. This is the wrong part, okay? I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna use the old one. The old one is fine. And in the future, I'm gonna order a different kit. But uh, that was the problem. This looks more like this one, okay? Just a different size. Anyway. I have no idea why, but at least we changed the rubber in uh, the first rubber, that's the uh, number 10, okay? The number 10 is uh, uh, number 10 piston seal, the most important, all right? <laughs> this is just protects the dust and the dirt. From going into the piston, of course, it has to be, you know, you don't want any holes on that or anything. But uh, it's not as important as the number 10, the piston seal. So, you know, things happen. What are you going to do? So, this two now, let me get the second light. Okay. Uh, all right, so this one is here. Okay, so this has some extra parts. Let's see. One thing at a time. Let's do the, the, the front one first. Okay. This will be... I remember when I took it off. It was not that simple. Let me try again. Yes, it goes like this. All right. And uh, that's the reason you have to press it all the way in so you can put it on the disc. That's about how much space you have. All right. It doesn't go anymore. All right. Um, you see, this one also. All right, let me put, I'll be back. Okay. You don't want to use red, blue. If you use red, you might need a grinder the next time, okay? Just a drop. All right, let's leave it here for now. the same okay I'm just gonna give it a little crunk I'm not gonna over tight this just a little bit Okay, let's get 
have done the business. All right, this is the two bolts. This is more like a pin. All right. Okay, now it's much better. That's the reason you want, you definitely want the book, even for a simple job like this, not really that simple. But you need to get the book because if you get, you know, dizzy or something, or, you know, you, you're losing it. <laughs> you just go with the book. It's like that, then it's like this, then, you know, you kind of figure it out. All right. You know, all right, right there. Okay. So we have uh, more than a quarter of an inch. This is good enough. All right, so now uh, the pin goes into this one. You see that? It's a little bit, it has a little gasket here. This that wants you to use molly. And I have molly, molly grease. Okay. You don't need too much, really. Okay. I have done the axle on the BMW, the rear, very important. If you have a beamer, go back and look at it. Okay. That's the number two bolt. And this one goes here. It's like a pin. All right. So number eight. All right, so okay, this one is ready for installation. Let's get this one now. All right. Okay, a rear caliper is here already. I have already a new one of this, so I have to wait a little bit. And we we'll continue next time. Okay. For a tool, you can take a look on the rear caliper diagram. Okay. And, uh, you know. It's getting ready. If you have any questions, ask me. We'll continue next time when more parts coming in and start putting stuff on the bike. Thanks for watching. Leave me a like, guys.